Hey guys, it's Emily and this is Emmy Lou Arts and today we're face to face because I didn't want to go into work yet <laughs> and we're in the parking garage. You guys seem to love parking garage chats, as do I. I just uh, I haven't done one in a while. Um, so I was trying to think of some way that I could procrastinate going into work uh, because somehow if you show up early they manage to get you to clock in early. I ain't about that life. So, uh, <laughs> here we are. Um, I hope you guys are getting ready for the holidays if you celebrate Christmas or any of the other winter holidays. I don't, I don't know if they've happened or are going to happen or whatever, but I hope that you're, um, you know, ready and that you're not letting the, um, current state of affairs totally ruin your mood. I'm trying not to. It is, but I'm trying not to. But um, I thought, <sighs> I'm feeling a little, ooh, irritated? I don't know. I just went to the grocery store before I came here to get my dinner because we have food at home, but like it was stuff I would have to cook and once again, that's, that's not my, <laughs> that's not my thing. <laughs> so, uh, I stopped by the grocery store and I got a bagged salad. Yep. One of those bags, those Dole bag salads, you know? These, a salad kit. Damn, those are good. I recommend. I just dump it in a Tupperware and then I eat that for dinner. And I don't have to cook anything. And I don't have to go to the uh, cafeteria. I probably spend about as much. Those salads are not cheap. But um, I don't know. I'm lazy, so that's what we get. Uh, what else? Oh, when I was paying for my salad, it told me item not recognized. And then I had to, the little light on this self-pay thing started flashing and then I had to wait for somebody and it was super busy because it's a Wednesday before Christmas and everybody was at the grocery store and that made me angry <laughs> and then I was just pulling in the parking garage and someone ahead of me was going literally zero miles an hour over the speed bumps uh, that might be one of my biggest pet peeves people that go excessively slowly over speed bumps it's it's unnecessary your car is not going to fall apart they crash test these things. You can drive over the speed bump. Anyway. Um, I thought maybe we could do a what's in my bag. Like a what's in my work bag. I love a what's in my bag. That's old school YouTube. What are you doing, dude? I don't know what that person's doing. Why do people back into spaces? You can just pull forward. It's easier. You're making more work for yourself. I don't, I honestly, somebody that backs into parking spaces, please tell me because I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I don't get it, you guys. I don't, I don't, never have. This work bag um, is a, uh, actually it was a friend's um, and she uh, didn't want it anymore. I know, right? Like stupid, it's coach. It's like a big leather bag. Somebody asked me where I got this before and I I don't think they ever sold it. Uh, her sister used to work be like a designer for coach and um, <clears throat> She would get all the samples like that. She designed that. I don't know if never like got produced or whatever um, so she had a shit ton of handbags and um, She didn't want this one anymore. So Hey, give it to your girl um, I I would not generally recommend taking something to work that's this nice. Um, but I just needed more space. I'm just, I'm a hobo. I'm a bag lady. Um, and my other work bag uh, was getting too small. So, um, so I am a neonatal intensive care nurse. Um, have been for nine years now. And this is what's in my bag. So, Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna start in the pockets. The pockets. Um, 
This pocket has drugs in it. No, I'm just kidding. It has gum. It has gum that I stole uh, from my daughter who stole it from me. So there you go. Uh, I have um, nat natural pure hand cream, shea butter hand cream. I don't know where this came from, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't use it. Nivea Blackberry Lip Care. This is cute, you guys. It's really cute, actually. Like, it sort of looks like lipstick. Um, like, it's a little dark, but I like to wear it on, like, on top of chapstick. And then I put this on, and it just gives my lips, like, a little flush of berry. Which really makes a lot of sense when I wear a mask all day. Uh, this Vaseline uh, Lip Therapy. Rosy Lips. It smells like roses, which I think smells like dead people, so I don't really like it, but that's okay. Um, this, <laughs> so many lip products for someone who no one ever sees their lips. Didn't used to be the case. Uh, this one was from the Dollar Tree, and it's really pretty. Look how sparkly it is. Don't come for me about my nails. You guys, clock me about these nails more often I've only done it twice. I've put on press on nails twice. Uh, and every time you guys are like, can you wear those to work? And I'm like, no, but am I going to? Yeah. <laughs> Just cut me a break, okay? It's almost Christmas. I have to work. None of my scrubs fit because I'm a fat ass. And I just want to feel pretty. So just let me wear my press on nail, okay? I file them down and I wear gloves during patient care. All right? So, um, that's it. Oil absorbing sheets from Walgreens. Uh, funny, st I never used to, okay, so I used to use these all the time. I would use packages upon packages of them. And then after I had kids, I didn't need them anymore. My skin was like normalized. Only thing about my life that was normalized at that point. Although my eczema, I did acquire eczema from my children, but not oily skin. And now that I'm almost 40 and my kids are 11 and nine, uh, my skin's like getting oily again, like my forehead. And this big nose, man. I didn't put any concealer on my chin because of the mask. So you can see that. We got some friends there. That's all that's in this bag. Oh, and an extra hair tie. Um, <laughs> um, a shitload of pens. Uh, I don't know where I collect them from, but, you know, half of them probably don't belong to me. Um, but you just pick them up. An extra badge reel, because they always snap at the most inopportune moment, and you will learn someday the true pain of having a badge reel snap into your face when you've pulled it out to clock into your <laughs> computer. Ah! <laughs> it's never taken my eye out so that I could leave work though, unfortunately. Um, scissors? I actually don't know why I have these. I think there's probably some sort of germs on those. Um, NICU nurses are a little bit different because we don't carry, um, like, all the accoutrements that, like, I feel like, um, like, floor nurses on, like, surgical units and stuff would carry um, because most things are in the baby's rooms because you can't carry them between patients, like stethoscopes and stuff like that. I have some disposable masks. Uh, I wear these when I walk into the hospital, and then when I get to my floor, I have to put on, like, a better mask. A real mask. Um, let's see. This thing, ooh, look at that. I look important, don't I? I'm not. <laughs> um, this is the A4 Better Together document holder. And you know what? Bless my husband. He got this for me um, because he didn't know what to get for me <laughs> one time. <laughs> and he's like, this looks like something she'd like. It took me years to figure out what to use it for, but I do like it and it is helpful. And I would recommend buying something like that. Uh, I will, I will 
link it below on Amazon because it's incredible. I keep my report sheets in here. It's got all these pockets where you could keep goodies. It's got this pocket, which has some passwords written on it. And then this is where I keep all of my continuing ed certificates. And then this is where I keep a bunch of my teen member appraisals. Uh, ooh, let's see, NRP key points. Mm, delivery room respiratory management algorithm. It does a lot of good in this folder, you know, actually. Uh, let's see. Blood gas interpretation charts. <laughs> Lots of stuff that I never look at. After a while, it just, you just know it. Or so we hope. Uh, so that's really handy. If you are a new nurse, I would get you something like that because I guarantee you're going to put those CE certificates somewhere and then you're not going to remember where you put them. And bitch, you don't want to go through that. Um, this is a... I put my phone in it because my phone... Um, has a not very protective but cute case on it. Uh, let's see. In the center, a uh, magnetic pocket, I have my planner. Um, this is so that when they ask me if I can pick up a shift, I can consult my planner and say, Oh no, sorry. <laughs> it helps to have a prop. Um, let's see. Um, this bag, I feel like the key to organization is bags in smaller bag. Uh, lots of tampons, panty liners. That's all that's in this bag. Tampons and panty liners and a band-aid. You know, I'm more prepared than I thought. Uh, a can of soup. Huh. Save some money and avoid the cafeteria. I have PTSD from the cafeteria. I was going through the salad bar one day. I worked, this is when I just graduated nursing school, I worked on an adult surgical oncology unit and I was 30 weeks pregnant and I was going through the salad bar. And this guy behind me, after I had gotten m my salad made, he looks at me and he goes, serious as a heart attack. Were you going to leave any salad for any of the rest of us? Okay. No, I wasn't. You're a dick. So, but I hope I never forgot about that. <laughs> you going to leave any salad for the rest of us? Asshole. Ugh. Um, a charging cord for my phone. Uh, let's see. Goggles they gave us at the beginning of the pandemic that I've never worn. Uh, hair. <laughs> um, a folding hairbrush. Let's see. Ooh. A wayward tampon. You don't belong in there, mister. This is way more organized than my actual purse. This little leather thing. I have no idea where this is from. Bobby pins. What do you know? I never look in this bag. Um, some Steri strips. <laughs> I don't know why. This is a pill holder. It's got Tylenol and ibuprofen. Let's see. Uh, an emergency vitamin C dietary supplement. And by the way, it's crunching. I'd say it's real old. This stuff go bad. I wish it had a. I wish it had an expiration on it because I would bet it's probably been in there since North Carolina. So that's like seven years ago. <laughs> uh, Zip Fizz Healthy Energy Mix. I don't know. These were on the break room table with a sign that said, "Please take free." I don't even question what it is. I just take it and then later I look and see if it's something that I want. <laughs> Greedy bitch. Um, an extra pair of underwear. <laughs> this, <laughs> this may 
just seems so wrong, but no, it's not for any weird reason. It's because when you have a really busy day, sometimes your butt gets really sweaty <laughs> and you just want a fresh pair of underwear. <laughs> just me. Uh, new Skin Liquid Band-Aid. That's really old. I'm pretty darn sure that's expired. It's okay, I'm a nurse. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh, I haven't used it ever. And a pre-moistened lens towelette. Hmm. You know, some more hair ties. Um, a calculator. For doing all those drug calculations, they always tell you that you're gonna have to do. You won't have to do this. Huh. This my husband's business cards. A nail file. This is a gate key card. Huh. I think I wanted to find that about two years ago. And then Dayquil. Severe congestion. Awesome. Well, those were treats. All right. We're on fire here. Let's see. Anything else? Let me go over my can of soup. Uh, let's see. Car keys. And my wallet. Well, that certainly wasn't as exciting as I thought it was going to be. But, what time is it? I might have just wasted enough time. Oh, yep, I gotta go. 2.30. Gotta go clock in now. Can't put it off any longer. This was a totally unnecessary video and I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you're staying safe in that you um, are enjoying the holidays. And I will see you again soon. Uh, why don't you subscribe while you're here? Cause 